Geronimo. Hi, my name is Jerome. I'll be your instructor for most of your lessons here in the beginner session. Uh, you're either taking the lesson in one of our classes or you're taking our online course. Now, you should use your textbook whenever you're working with the lessons so you can follow along with me in the lessons. As I walk through the slide presentation, you can follow along using the book. Now, if you're taking the class, you should have a textbook. If you're taking the online course, go back to the index and for each lesson you can actually print the pages of the book for that particular lesson. So you should have with you right now your textbook open or the pages printed for the vocalis, which are the vowels. Those are the sounds of the letters that we call in English A, E, I, O, and U. We're going to learn those sounds because that's the first place we need to start. If you can master the sounds of the letters of the Spanish language, you can speak Spanish. You can read it perfectly, and that's where we have to start. So let's take off with the vowels, the vocales. Now, just grab your book and follow along. You might want to make some notes. Let me make a few comments about the vowels. Here they are. In Spanish, we call them a, e, e, o, and u. A, e, e, o, u. You want to just say those with me real quick? Repeat after me. Let me say them, and then you say it after me. A, e, E, O, U. Excelente. The unique thing about these five letters is that in Spanish, these five letters make five sounds and only five sounds. Not so in English. If you remember back in school, whenever it was that you were last in school, the teachers taught us about the long A, the short A, uh, the long E, the solid E, the upside down E. It makes all different sounds. In English, we can produce 25 or so different sounds from these letters in combination of letters. Not so in Espanol. In Spanish, we have five letters here and we have five sounds. That's it. Five letters, five sounds, and no exceptions to the rule. That's why it's so very easy to read Spanish and pronounce words correctly. So within the first couple of lessons, you will be able to just open up a dictionary, open up a phrase book, and read Spanish out loud, and anyone who speaks Spanish will understand you and understand you well. All we have to do is master these sounds. In this lesson, we're going to learn the sounds of the vocales, these five letters. Muy bien. Excelente. Another unique thing about these letters, the vowels in Spanish, is that the sound that the letter makes when you're trying to read a word, that actually is the name of the letter. Again, that's not so in English. In English, we call this first letter the A. Now, the A can be like A and able. It could be an A as in apple. It can be an A as in father. And there are other sounds that we get from it. We don't even think about it when we're speaking English. We just speak English because we know it sounds right. We're not here to learn the rules of English. But in Spanish, we, did, we do need to know what is the name of each of these letters and what sound will it make whenever I find it in a word. Everybody knows the word casa, right? Casa. Mi casa es su casa. The word casa means house. You pronounce it all the time. You say casa and you know what it means. But the reason you're saying casa is because it has this letter in the word, the a, ah, and it will always have an a ah sound. Now, the name of the letter is a. Ah, and the sound of the letter is A. So if a Spanish person were to walk into the video right here and I were to ask them, ¿Cómo se llama esta letra? What's the name of this letter? They would say, huh, se llama A. A. And the sound that it produces is A. So this is an A and that's its sound. Now let's look at each letter in detail. Go with me and let's follow along with our slides. The first letter that we're looking at is the letter A. Now A... The Spanish A ah sounds like the A ah in the word father. So in English, we have this word father. And the sound that we get from the A ah, right here is the same sound that this letter has in Spanish. So the name of this letter is A. Ah, 
And the sound that we will find it when we're reading words is going to be ah. Let's look at a couple of Spanish words. So if I'm reading this word, you may have never seen this word before in Spanish. Well, there it is. That's an ah. So we call the word alas. Alas. The second word has ahs in it. It's ajustar. Ajustar. Now, I realize you're thinking, where do you get that who sound from? Yes, after we do the vowels, we will need to go and look at all the other letters of the alphabet because there are certain letters that are very different from English. This letter we're going to find when you get to the lesson on the alphabet actually is not a J. The letter is called J, and it's always an H sound. So I'm pronouncing this as if it's an H. So I say ajustar. That's the, how you pronounce the word, ajustar. So the name of the letter is a. The sound that it produces is a. The words are alas ajustar. Let's look at the next one. This letter, in Spanish, they call the letter e. E. So the Spanish e sounds like the e in the word egg. So if you use the English word egg to help you remember this letter. So anytime you see this letter and you're trying to pronounce it in a word, sound it out. Think of the eh, eh in the word egg. You could also think about grandpa that goes eh, eh, what did you say? Eh, that eh sound. That's the sound of this letter and that's the name of the letter. Let's look at some words. Here now remember, this is an eh. We're going to put an S with it, so it's S. Escape. Escape. Read that, please. Escape. The next word down here is entrada. Entrada. The name of the letter is E. The sound that it will produce when you're reading out of words is E. And there's no exceptions to this. The next letter, let's look at the next letter. This letter in Spanish is called an E. This is going to get a little confusing in the beginning, but in just a few lessons, you will hit the hang of it. The name of the letter is E. The sound of the letter is E. So the Spanish I sounds like our long E sound. Think of this word in English, easy. It always starts with the E sound, right? Easy. Well, this letter really is easy. Just remember the word easy, and the E is the sound of this letter. The name of the letter is E, and the sound of it will always be an E. Let's look at a few words. So, I'm going to divide this into syllables, and we're going to learn how to do this in a future lesson. This is one syllable, E. This is the next syllable, DE. And the last syllable is A. IDEA. Idea. Repeat after me. Idea. Idea. Excellent. That's a cognate word, meaning it's a word that's spelt the same way in English as it's spelt in Spanish. Of course, we say idea, some of us, <laughs> it depends on where you're from, but in Spanish it would always be pronounced idea. Idea. Ah. Tengo una idea. I have an idea. All right, this word, indicar, indicar. I'm saying indicar because here we have an E sound, in. Here we have D, and here we have car, indicar. So that word is pronounced indicar, indicar. Uh, the next letter, the easiest letter in the whole Spanish alphabet, right here. This is the only letter in the Spanish alphabet that has the same name as the English letter. What do we call the letter? O. Well, in Spanish, they also call the letter O. It even has the sound O. So the Spanish O sounds like our long O, like in this word, omit. 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 Don't forget this word. Don't omit this letter out of the alphabet. It's the only one that's the same as English. Now, of course, in English, our letter O has many different sounds. But in Spanish, it only has one sound. And that sound is O. Oh. Look at the words. How about this first one up here? Ocho. Ocho. It's ocho because this is an O and this is an O. Ocho. Say that with me. Ocho. This one down here. Observar. Observar. Again. Observar. 
you'll find that most people are going to use this letter, the V, as a, a B sound. We'll get to that when we get to the alphabet. We'll go through every letter and look at them. We have one more vowel, and that vowel is the letter U. U. The Spanish U sounds like the double O sound of our little word boo. So at Halloween, when the children go boo, oo, it's the oo that comes from a double O sound. That's the sound of this letter. The name of the letter is oo. And the sound of the letter is oo. So when we find a Spanish word, we pronounce it oo. So we start off right here and we say oo, sa, do, usado. Read that with me. Usado. One more time. Usado. And this last word down here, utilizar. Utilizar. The first syllable is u. The next one is t. That's because it has a t sound in the e. T. Li. Sar. And we will find, when we finally get to the last letter, that this letter actually has the sound of an S. Utilizar. Hey, excelente. Now you know your vowels. They're muy importante. You cannot speak Spanish without knowing the sounds of these words. Now you can hear someone, you can learn Spanish words by someone just saying it and you repeating after them. But if you learn how to read Spanish, which you're going to do in these next three lessons, you will be able to open up a book and read anything you would like out loud in Spanish and they will understand you. You won't have to walk around and ask someone, hey, how do you pronounce this word? You know, you get your dictionario, you look up a word and you want to use it, but you have to walk up to somebody and say, could you pronounce this for me? You will know how to pronounce the words. You will know how to read them out loud correctly by learning the sounds of the vowels and learning the sounds of the alphabet. We will also have a lesson on accents and a lesson on how to divide a word into syllables. With those lessons, you will be able to pronounce things perfectly. And from there, we'll go into the Spanish language. Hey, great, you got your vowels? Say them with me. A, E, I, O, U. Again, A, E, I, O, U. One more time, A, E, E O U. Excelente. You practice them until you have them memorized. Say them many, many times. And then from here, go right on into the alphabet and let's learn the letters of the alphabet. Okay, muchas gracias. Adios. We'll see you at the next lesson. <laughs>